Good morning and welcome to the 50th Wimbledon Whopper on this incredibly sunny October day after the thick fog. It has now turned into a beautiful day and already a very, very big crowd in attendance for what should be a cracking afternoon's racing. Rumoured to be possibly the last Wimbledon Whopper, but let's hope with the size of the crowd that has gathered here today that they will continue to promote this superb event. All-star solo entry, all-star 500 sidecar entry and virtually every thousand sidecar that was available is going to be racing here today. Invited 250 riders, practice has just finished, the track looks to be in impeccable condition, riding very very fast indeed and we should be in for a superb day's racing in this the 50th anniversary of the first ever Wimborne Whopper. So before we get into any of the riders, we've caught up with somebody who's not racing today, but obviously a big star here at the uh, Wimborne Whopper, Chris Holder. Chris, what brings you to the grass track? Just a day out, mate. I only live 10 minutes down the road, and um, you know I know a couple of the boys racing today. Um, get to hang out with my son, so yeah, we brought him out here to check it out, and it should be a good day. Now, I know that you've uh, been asked this before many times. Every time you turn up at a grass track, we ask you the same thing. Is there any chance we'll ever see you on a grass tracker or a long tracker? I've raced long track in Australia for a few years, um, back when I sort of started, but I don't mind long track, but I don't know about the grass, That's I watched practice before and no thanks, <laughs> I'm happy well, to be on this side of the ropes. Uh, well, maybe never say never, I know that you hang around with John Hiscott quite a bit on the sidecar, so you ever fancy a go on a sidecar? I don't know who's crazier, they're both, I've seen the sidecars first and was like holy crap, and then, um, and then the solos went out and did the same, and nah, it looks nice and smooth at the moment, but I can see it getting pretty heavy later and... I'm more than happy to be on this side. <laughs> well, Chris, hopefully you have a great day today and enjoy yourself, and uh, good to see you at a grass track. No worries, thank you. Well, the first crew that we've uh, we've found in the pits, 500cc sidecar crew, Chris Hay and uh, Aaron Hay. Uh, it's their first year on the 500 sidecars, and they've really impressed lots of people with how quick they've gone. Um, so just before we came on, Bob said, where have you guys come from? Where, what's your background? How did you end up 500 sidecar racing? <coughs> I came from uh, last year, did just did one season of Speedway. Uh, road just at National League, uh, not nothing special. Uh, quit that because I couldn't commit to to riding for a team. So I thought I'd go solo. I thought I'd go solo grass track, but then I thought I'd wanted you know want to do it with someone. So that's why I want sidecars. And uh, and Aaron, you obviously to start with you, um, Chris had a few different passengers, but you two seem to have uh, come together as a team now. Enjoying it? Yeah, it's good. It's uh, it's good doing it with your brother as well. It's a uh, a bit, bit more trust there, being family, but yeah, no, it's good to run together. And uh, today obviously is a, probably the biggest meeting you've been in to date, I would imagine, on the 500 sidecar. Yeah, I mean, we only got one race at uh, Porcher, didn't we, so I couldn't really tell much there. Uh, yeah, it's, it's good, good track. I like it where there's a lot of people and a lot of competition. Six and, in a race. And obviously next year looking towards getting onto the continent, I'd imagine. Yeah, we're going to see. We're going to see if we can get get there on a, f a few of them, see how it takes off. I'm not quite sure how you even get in, into it over there, really, but uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure we'll find out. Well, Chris and Aaron, it's good to see you here today at the Whopper. Um, good luck for today. It's been great seeing a new crew coming through and uh, obviously taking it to some of the top, more established crews, so long may it continue. Thank you Cheers. very much, yeah. Cheers for that. Thank you. OK, now we've caught up with another 500 sidecar crew, young up-and-coming crew, Sean Hughes and Lewis Bennett, and uh, what a season you boys have had. Pass yeah. on to Lewis. Yeah, um, I think we've surprised ourselves with some of the results we pulled out of the bag. Um, just getting on really well and enjoying it's the main thing. Now I know I spoke to you at the Banter Awards at the beginning of the year and you guys were full of uh, confidence about beating your dad and everything else and at that time it was still quite difficult but this season you've really kind of taken to the next level, don't you think? We wouldn't be anywhere without them too really. Um, but they support us so much and we can't thank them enough because they're retiring this year to help us and it just means so much really. Yeah, I think, it was, I think it's uh, obviously your dads are both uh, really keen to see you guys push on now for next year so plans for 2019? Flat out, <laughs> try and do as many meetings as we possibly can, just keep going, keep learning, we'll never stop learning. We're going to do more on the continent as well, we did our first one in Holland last month and really enjoyed that and hopefully got our name out there. Yeah, and went really well as well. Second place in Holland, was it? Yeah, but we still need to look after the clubs in this country as well. So we've really got to plan out and think what ones we're going to do and then just go from there, really. Yeah, well, it's great to see you guys. You know, you're one of the, the you and your dads are the biggest supporters of Club Grass Track in the UK, particularly on the 500 sidecars. So uh, obviously, 
we wish you all the best on the continent, but hopefully it won't, we won't lose you too much to this country. You won't. We're not going anywhere. No way. Like you too much. <laughs> well, good luck today, boys. Hopefully it goes really well, and uh, you can take it to some of the more established stars later on. Thank you very much. Cheers. So they come in, Joe Morgan, that machine that won the first ever uh, Wimbledon Whopper. Joe Morgan, Jay Cutter there coming round. Then we got Flynn Blondell and Kevin Bennett. Jay Buckley is round number 40. Then Neil Owen and Jason Farwell coming round in the lap of honour. Then 18, Mick Stace. Number 78, Kieran Nixon, Kieran Ivey. Number 2, that's Neville Penfold coming round. Number 375, Pete Shaw in his lap of honour. Stephen Russell in the chair, Will Offen and Josh Russell coming round at number 80, crew number 80 in the 1,000 sidecars, then number 184, John Hiscock and Terry Madley on their lap of honour, just coming past the box now, John Hiscock and Terry Madley. Well, easy chance for the uh, Whopper today, number 48, that's uh, Gareth Winderburn and Liam Brown. He's going to be riding Dad's bike today, number 48. So change that number in your programme there. That's Gareth Winderburn and uh, Liam Brown coming round. And we've got number 15, Matt Fumarola coming round. Next one to come round is Matt Fumarola, number 15. Then we've got number 16, Simon Heal and Roland Broomfield. Good to see them back racing. Haven't raced over the last few weeks, but it's good to have them back on track with us. Number 25, Colin Blackburn and Carl Q on their lap of honour. Then we've got the 500 sidecars. Now we've got uh, number 77, that's... Uh, Sean Hughes and Louis Bennett, the first ones to come round. Barry Bennett, Ivan Hughes, and his penultimate meeting before he retires. He's doing Tallington next week, so it's the penultimate one for Barry and uh, Ivan. Next one is uh, 152, that's Stephen Bell, looks like uh, Kira Southgate in the chair there this afternoon. Mike Reed and Mark Hopkins. Good to see Mike back in action. Number 268, Chris A and Alan A. Simon Beard for number four. And we've got Chris Neem at number 11. And Luke Russell coming round. Number three, Josh Goodwin. Obviously we'll have Liam Brown in the chair with him this afternoon. Number nine, Mitch Gordon and Paul Smith coming round in the 500 sidecars. Mitch and Paul there. Then number 73, that's... Um, James Hogg and Scott Goodwin. Number 72, Sean Harvey and Danny Hogg on their lap of honour. Number 72, Sean Harvey and Danny Hogg. That's the 500 sidecars. Another one still coming round. We've got Natasha Barclays and Curtis McElhinney coming round on their lap of honour. Then we've got number 66, that's Stephen Green. Number 6, Barry Cook in the 250s. Number 69, Chad Wills in the 50s. Number 50, Adam Hawker coming round. Number 36, Bob Lee Charles coming round. And number 91, Russell Little. 78, Anthony Sales. Then number 11, Ollie Stanford. Number 10, Tim Gregg. Number 37, Chris Harris come round of his lap, the of his lap of honour. Number 3, Lee Bassett in the 250. 20, Aaron Butcher. 69, James Wright. Good to see James back racing with his Cotswolds Express. Number 2, Tim Noves, the next one to come round. And 53, Jody Hodson. Jody in his lap of honour, 41 Stuart Mears, one of the replacements this afternoon. Number 26, Luke Harris, busy boy, 500 and 250 this afternoon. Number 82, Ben Hillsley. Number 93, James Shanes. Good to see James back racing here at Wimborne. Number 19, Dave Mears. Number 11, Paul Cooper. Good to see Paul back from that nasty injury and racing with us again today. So Paul in action. Then we've got 22, Will Penfold and Ricky Pay. Number 22 on the solos, Andrew Appleton. Number 689, Matt Huddy. Then we've got number 6, Eddie Kennett. And number 86, Paul Hurry. Those are the competitors and this 2018 Wimble Whopper. Fine, thank you. Right on the line then for race number one of the 50th 
second, John Army is in third, Bells are in four, Bartlett in five, Reed in sixth place, super action again there in the second heat of the 500 side cars. Right, you're at the turn, number 57, Mike Reed, one point. Number 65, Natasha Barclay, two points. Number 72, Sean Harvey, four points. Number 73, James Hart, five points. Number 77, Sean Hughes, seven points. And number 152, Aaron Vale, three points. On the line now for the first seat on the Tim Disney Solo, looking to Tim Gregg to make the start, but Russell has made a good start, Tim Gregg has gone with him, so another Walker moves to the second place, and then gets out the top of the wall and burst through Chris, that's made a better start, he's starting to work his way to the pack, and winds it on around the outside of that top corner, could come through from fourth to first, to Taro Saluta, from the in second half, in third, Gregg is in five, Hillsley in six, up to top six, and make the way up the back straight once again, Ben Hillsley, making a big move around the outside of that pitch corner, and
fighting that risk of person can he hold the ball and pull that top or he just went over the line in Swiss Marin and he needs to come back to first on him but he can it who's got the second up to do third Cooper is in four Mears in five it's Harris who leads it then can he hold in that second position up with him he's got the third Cooper is in four Mears in five then coming under pressure that fifth place position it's Harris who leads it that's not the corner for the second time from Edward Smith and he oh and Tumbler's gone down oh and Tumbler's in the ropes as well that's Paul Cooper I think the strong Yeah. 
and they come up the top corner, Forney from the time, it's the Jack and Blackers and James Shanks gets the winning line, second is James Wright. First place coming in extremely wide, uh, Stephen Green who picks up the third, Luke Harris is in fourth, and Jody Hobson in fifth place.
Andrew Appleton excluded. Stuart Mears, five points. And we go then to the first team of the thousand sidecars. Neil Owen, Matt Fumarola and Simon Hill, the first six crews in action for the uh, big chairs. Thank you. 
blokes. Blokes did it. Revving up on the line then for this the third leg of the big chairs up from the tape to where they go. Gareth Wigan has made a good start. So is Kieran Nicks and so is Will Offen. The three of us they come by us and Offen hits the front going in that corner. Hicks has got the second window. Bird is in third place. Buckley is in four up the top four. Down the back straight they go then for the first time. It's off the lead. Will off the bike up on Kieran Nicks. Garrett Winterburn trying to find a way through on the inter Vex to go through. In the second place is off and leads, and Winterburn's got inside it to go through. In the second place is off and leads, but Winterburn in second. Hicks has got the third block, we did for Winterburn trying to get inside the lock. Once again, Paul White, the Matt Hoodie is back in fourth place. As he lost 
that flag comes out then for Paul Whiteman, Alan Elliott, for John Hiscock and Terry Madby. Joe Bond and Jake Cutler have got the third. They're a long way clear of Buddy who's struggling in fourth place as they're moving down the back straight for the full autonomy to support the Ogilvy share. Bond gets just a little bit closer in third, coming out of that final corner. Impressive stuff for Paul Whiteman, Alan Elliott. They get the winning ride. Second place is John Hiscock. Third is Joe Long. And uh, Matt Buddy will come across the line there in fourth place.
Jim Gregg on the lead is to get away there. You can see there goes Adam Walker working his way to the back, and Adam Walker comes from nowhere. He's in the front with Jim Gregg in second place, but the horse of him has gone through. Then third and first pushes Adam Walker really wide upon that top corner. They're going to be three of us, they come by us for the first time then. It's Russell Little who leads in for Adam Walker in second, Jim Gregg in third. Look at Luke Harris making his move. He went in that corner in fifth place. He's come out in first place, super wide there by Luke Harris. He's the leader and they've gone the back straight for the second time. For Zip Long, red flag out, red flag out. Red flag, red flag. Ride it down on the pitch corner. We need the red flag out, please. Oh, 
Harris is back in five and has not really got to work overtime this time. He gets inside Paul Cooper to go through in the fourth place. And Chris Harris goes down there for all of the fourth place. This is Eddie Kenny's clear there for James Chains holding that second place. Kenny goes wide, Chains trying to come through on the inside. Kenny gets back round Chains so he takes the lead. Chains comes again back up the inside. Kenny trying to get back round the outside. As Chains leads up, then Kenny's in second. Cooper is in third place. We're racing on the yellow flag. We've got another round of down upon the top corner. Red flag, red flag at this time. Start of the third leg of the 500 solos. Kenneth in chains having a cracking race there for first and second places. So we we'll that one for the clerk of the course to sort out exactly what's happening in that third leg. That race is awarded and the points are as follows. Tim Nobes excluded. Paul Cooper, 8. Chris Harris, foul. Eddie Kennett, 11. Paul Hurry, non-starter. Charlie Powell, non-starter. James Shane's 9. Zach Bightnett, non-starter.
The next two the big chairs, we've got Neville Penfold, Simon Heal, Mick Stace, Mike Elliott, Paul Whiteman and Matt Fuddy. The crew's in action, one minute left, one minute left of the two minute time allowance, one minute left. It's on the line then for race 
Gentlemen, come to seven. Just got the four crews in action for this race. Seven, we got quality crews. Gareth Winburn gets away with Colin Blackmore. Makes a cracky start. Colin Blackmore leads Gareth Winburn in second. Karen it is in third place. Blonde Dull in fourth. Colin Blackmore on the inside. Gareth Winburn making his move around the outside. Colin Blackmore comes back up. Point 
Spencer. Number 8, Gary Shearer, non-starter. Number 15, Matt Fumarola, 7. Number 7, Richard Jenner, 5. Number 33, Tom Marvel, 3. Dave Buckley, 4. Joe Mark, non-starter. Race 8 then, the final heat in the, in the second leg of the big chairs. We've got Neil Owen, Tom Cosser, Mark Cosser, Will Penfold, Will Offen, and John Hiscock in what should be a superb race number 8. So coming to line, what could be an intriguing race number eight? Neil won oh, in one his opening ride, as did Mark Cosser. Will often had a good opening ride, as did Tom Cosser. John Hiscott got a second in his opening ride. So everything to go for the six crews all away from the tape then. And it's Mark Cosser who's made a good start. Looks across to Neil Owens away with and Neil Owens just gonna get the corner first. Neil Owens does get the corner first. Mark Cosser is in second place. Can Neil Owen hold back the challenge of Mark Cosser? Mark Cosser changes line, comes back. And somebody's come to the joint. It was on the four of us for first place. Coming out of that fifth corner for the first time. We've got a race on our hands this time. Then it's the early lead and from Mark Cosser in second place. Tom Cosser going around the race on the still four of us for first place. Mark Cosser on the inside. He goes right near Owen. Cuts back up the inside. And Tom Cosser trying to get around the ocean. It's the early lead and from Mark Cosser. In second place, Cosser leads back around the ocean. It's the early lead and from Mark Cosser. Cosser leads up to Neil Owen on second. Tom Cosser has got In this eighth leg of the thousand sidecars, there's Mark Cosser leads him on the last lap, then the Neil Owen in second, and Tom Cosser's getting very close into getting inside Neil Owen. Neil Owen again sweeps back by the outside and retakes second place. Cosser comes again back up the inside Neil Owen. Going down the back spread and Cosser's got inside Neil Owen. As Mark Cosser leads from Tom Cosser in second, Neil Owen has got the third. Will Offen is in fourth place. As Mark Cosser gets the winning ride, Tom Cosser gets second, Neil Owen gets the third. In four, John is in five, Will Penfold in sixth place, and what a race that was! What a race that was! And Neil Owen, the one time race leader, finished up back in third place in a brilliant race number eight. Fabulous, fabulous action there in race number eight, and the point as follows Neil Owen. Four points. Tom Cosser, five points. Mark Cosser, seven points. Will Penfold, one point. Will Offin, three. And John Hiscock, 